Halo Reach flighting program delayed even further, even possibly past E3, and the new hottest team right now in Halo Competitive. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update video when I come to Halo. So if you guys like these kind of news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you guys your thoughts are on the video and the topics that we discuss. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, want we'll to stay up to date with anything Halo related, that's like HCS, MCC, uh, Halo 5, Halo Infinite, and all the E3 news that's coming around pretty soon, guys. Make sure to tap subscribe and with the bell as well, because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video here. Now, as I mentioned about E3 in the beginning of this video, I just want to let you all know that I currently will be doing a live stream of my reaction of E3. So much like we did last year, it was a great time. We had like 100 plus people jump into the stream. It was crazy. And so I really hope to do that again the, this year, guys. So on June 9th, is when the live stream will be take place. We'll do some live reactions and hang out, watch the E3 trailers, and uh, just get ready for some Halo Infinite action. So you make sure to tap subscribe to keep up to date when that live stream goes live on here and also over on Twitch as well. First link in the description down below. So let's get right into the video here. First off, we'll start off with the competitive side of things as we do know that the DreamHack Dallas event is coming right around the corner the last weekend of May here. And they're doing the online qualifiers, trying to get some proper seatings for some of the teams because it's an open event. Event. any team can jump in and compete unlike the previous one which was an invitational this is an open so any team who's capable can play and recently there was a new team that was created for just pretty much just for this event and it was infinite or infinite infinite which we want however you want to pronounce it it contains booboo dooboo shotsy falcated and tusk some really solid players and a lot of these guys are actually kind of more known for the halo 5 skills but they jump over to halo 3 trying again some that dream hack dallas awesomeness right there and they're being actually killing it in the qualifiers if you guys remember in the previous video back on may, back on may 6th it was announced that they won the qualifier to get in so they beat tox elevate all the other teams in there and recently just as of uh the may 20th so congratulations to booba doo shotsy falcated and tusk on winning the final dream hack dallas 2019 online qualifier right here so yeah, guys, it's getting a bit epic right now. It's kind of surprising how good that uh, this infinite team is for not really playing much Halo 3 rep until now. Uh, I mean, you got Booba Doob and Shotzi and Falcade and Tusk, all incredibly talent talented players, and they're beating out the top teams right now. So when the DreamHack Dallas event comes around, keep an eye out for these guys. They're going to make a name for themselves in this event. I feel like I... I think they might be a top four team. I'm seriously thinking about that. Uh, I'd still imagine Tox being the favorite team, even though they haven't really done incredibly well on these uh, qualifiers. But I think it's because they probably have, you know, know that they're going to be in the events and they'll try super hard. But uh, we'll see what happens, guys. So keep an eye out for Infinite. All I'm saying. And just to reiterate, guys, that means that it's going to be May. 31st all the way through June 2nd is when this event is taking place. Uh, check out the Halo channel. That's where you'll find all the good stuff. I think also on UGC, they'll probably be streaming since this is a UGC event as well. So keep that in mind. It's a $50,000 prize pool spread amongst the team. So some good money's on the line here and it's gonna be awesome to watch. And now time for the sad news. What you're probably here for is an update on the flighting program when it comes to Halo Reach on the MCC for PC and for the original Xbox as well. As I'm sure many of you know, it was originally stated by Sketch, the community manager, saying that the uh, flighting program was expected to happen sometime in April. Towards the end of that, well, April came and went, and we don't have any news. And right now we haven't heard any news about a flying program. Right now we're like towards the end of May and haven't heard anything about it. And Sketch recently was asked a question about that on Reddit, and this is what his reply said. Currently, it doesn't look like public flighting will begin prior to E3. The team has made a lot of progress on a number of areas, but everything is just taking time in some cases longer than initially anticipated. I figured that was the case since we haven't heard anything about this flighting program all of May. I would think they might want to hold off until E3 to make some kind of big announcement about when that flighting program might start taking place. But uh, from what Sketch is saying, because he's been very open and honest with the development of this, and I really do appreciate that, that even though uh, we were all super excited about this, I think it might even have to wait until after E3 since uh, 343 is definitely heads down trying to make sure that whatever they're going to present 
at E3 is going to be top notch because we all know that Halo Infinite has been confirmed to be at E3. Uh, to what extent, we don't know. Uh, like I said in the previous video, I mentioned about what to expect for E3. Generally, I'm expecting just kind of like a trailer, kind of give you a synopsis of kind of what the campaign is going to be like, probably. And I'm hoping hoping for a little tease when it comes to the multiplayer as well since the multiplayer is very playable right now as they have a pro team testing out the multiplayer right now uh, they had a little bit of a in-studio tournament back in April back in December so uh, you know it's definitely a, really a playable situation I think what we're gonna expect is probably to see like a campaign trailer give you an idea of what they're trying to accomplish with the story and also just kind of general gameplay or what their goals are would accomplish with the game and then my hopes would be just like a little like 10 second tease of multiplayer uh, just to kind of give you enticed for uh, whenever is coming next you know it says we're anticipating halo event to be released with the new gen consoles which are going to be officially announced at e3 at least uh, come on like pretty likely that's going to happen slated for a 2020 release I'm sure we might actually get some information on the flighting program as well when it comes to Halo Infinite as well, maybe the MCC as well. So if you guys want to stay up to date with that information, please make sure to tap subscribe as we keep up to date with anything awesome going on with Halo, guys. So yes, sadly, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer, but of course, I'd much rather wait for a proper product than something rushed out the door, much like how <coughs> MCC was. So if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let us know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the topics we discussed in the video. Do you think Infinite might have the ability to take the whole DreamHack Dallas uh, tournament? Do you Are you a little peeved about how it's taking so long for the Reach uh, flying program to take place. And if you're new to, or if you're new to the channel, stay updated with anything Halo related. Please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we stay updated with anything going on with Halo on this channel, guys. If you're new to the channel or you missed any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.